Incision 1 is made at the midpoint of the first MP joint. Incision 2 is made at the midpoint at the base of the flare of the medial eminence of the first metatarsal. Incision 3 is made at the midpoint of the first TMT joint. Parasol elevator is used to clear the parasol in incision 3 and 2. The chevron bird is inserted into incision 2 at the base of the flare of the first metatarsal. The bird position is confirmed with the arm. Um, is uh, noted to be a direct or perpendicular to the axis of the second metatarsal. The dorsal limb was cut, uh, then a short plane limb was cut, aiming uh, towards the skin of the heel. A 2 mm reduction wire is inserted through incision 2. Uh, the reduction in the was performed. A 1.6 mm guide wire was placed uh, through incision 3. It's directed in mid axial line and then uh, it exits distally approximately 1 cm proximal to the osteotomy. Uh, the position is confirmed on the CR. The wire is in advance. Um, the wire is withdrawn and a 1 mm uh, guide wire is inserted. The 2 mm uh, reduction wire was reinserted through incision 1. And the reduction in the move was performed. Uh, the uh, one, 1 mm guide wire was advanced uh, into the head and the position was confirmed with the uh, CR. Uh, the AP and lateral position is confirmed on the C arm. Um, the uh, depth of the screw is measured, the wires in advance, um, uh, distally and clipped with the hemostat. Um, a drill um, uh, is used, um, the screw is then inserted, um, the uh, parallel elevator and um, forceps is used to retract the uh, skin to prevent the threat of the screw from uh, damaging the skin of incision 3. Uh, once the uh, screw has advanced uh, through the uh, skin, um, then the reduction maneuver is uh, performed um, and the screw advanced. Uh, the final position of the screw is confirmed on the uh, C arm. Once the screw, screw position has been confirmed, the 2 mm reduction wire is removed. Uh, 1.6 uh, wire is used to make the hole for the uh, introduction of the distal first metatarsal screw, uh, one millimeter wide is inserted through the hole. Position of the wire placement is confirmed on the C arm. Um, um, the uh, drill is used to perforate the uh, medial cortex only, um, and a uh, screw usually 10 millimeters shorter than the proximal screw is inserted. Insertion um, over the medial base of the proximal phalanx is uh, used. The bird position is confirmed on the C arm. First directed proximally, uh, so the screw fixation is almost perpendicular to the osteotomy. Dorsal and implanted cut was uh, performed. Uh, the guide wire uh, positions uh, confirmed on image intensifies advanced distally and clipped and hemostat. This wire is over drilled and uh, screws inserted. Uh, the fixation is uh, confirmed on the C arm. Uh, the medial prominence of, of the uh, Proximal first metatarsal um, is removed with the kilek midber um, after the parasol is stripped. Um, the, for the left foot, I uh, moved the burr from plantar to uh, dorsal uh, due to the uh, clockwise rotation of the burr. Uh, the uh, bone dust is uh, irrigated with normal saline. Uh, the uh, kilek midber is then used to perforate the medial capsule uh, to remove the medial eminence. Uh, this is irrigated with normal saline and a rust is used to remove the uh, bone that is stuck to the capsule. Uh, the adequacy of the resection is confirmed on the C arm. Um, the other pores were irrigated with normal saline. A distal soft tissue release is performed with a beaver blade with blade directed laterally. Um, the two proximal wounds are closed with a uh, four monocle subcuticular suture each and all the pores were closed with stereo strips. Um, a routine dress was applied um, and I uh, wrapped the crepe on uh, quite firmly um, with a uh, small mouth material um, around, looped around the uh, big toe and the uh, second toe. Um, I allowed the patient to uh, full weight bear in a flat uh, post-op shoe um, after surgery.